Alright guys, it's your boy DeAnthony coming back with you another review. So I just started watching this new show on Fox called Star. Now, I don't know if you guys heard about it, seen the previews. I just heard about it, saw, saw it on the billboard, like, you know, once or twice throughout the week. And I wanted to check it out. Uh, so it just came out with their first uh, season premiere a couple days ago. And I just watched it today and I just wanted to tell you guys what I thought. So, we got Queen Latifah. We got Lenny Kravitz. Uh, apparently, we're going to have Tyrese. I didn't see him in that episode, but we're going to have Tyrese. Um, and some other stars, and it's pretty much about these three girls that come together. Two of them are from the foster care system. Um, the other one is Lenny Kravitz's daughter, and she wants to make it out there on her own. So she gets with these two girls that sing. They want to, you know, come together with us to make a singing group. Kind of looks, kind of reminds me of uh, Beyonce and Destiny Child, but the background is a little different. So I'm okay with that. So we got the white girl, which is. I guess the lead, but they said it's not a lead, but she looks like a, the lead. She got the blonde hair, so. Uh, and then her sister, she is half white and half black. And then we got the all black girl, which is Lady Travis' daughter. So, starts off. It's a pretty, I would say a uh, pretty dramatic beginning. So the blonde chick, she's in foster care. and She has these foster parents that don't give a shit about her. Talking about she's not worth the money that we give for her. You know, and honestly, that is how it goes. You know, I have uh, friends of the family who are foster parents, and they tell me about these things that happen when they get these new kids, how the kids were treated before that they came to her. And honestly, it's a sad thing. It's really a sad thing. I, I, I actually don't like the system and how they take they, um, how they take kids away from their families and then split them up. Like, whoa, like. You thought that was okay? Like, I don't get it. You know, and then they don't even check on them. Like, they care more about the real parents than the foster parents of what the, that what's going on in their house. You know, the sister was up here getting uh, molested or, or, or raped by, you know, the man that was in, in the foster parent house. I'm going to say the main character. I don't know who's the main character, really, but the main character's name is Star. She's in the foster care system, and she goes to get her sister. She turns 18. She goes to get her sister, and she finds her sister being molested by this, this man. And she pretty much stabs them up and they bounce. I'm like, yo, you're not going to call the police or no. <laughs> so they don't call the police. They just bone out and go to Atlanta. I'm like, all right. Uh, you don't think that they're going to think her sister is a suspect? All right. So here we are in Atlanta. We got Queen Latifah. And honestly, yo, can we get some better wigs on her? Them wigs is ridiculous, yo. Like... Take that shit off. Like, Latif, I know you got better stylists than that. Is that on purpose? Are we purposely dressing you in bad wigs? And it's a wig because she takes it off in, in one of the scenes, so we know that it's a wig. We're not trying to say this is her hair. It's not a weave, it's a wig. Pretty much, Queen Latifah takes them in, and, you know, but Queen Latifah is a, is a ironically, Queen Latifah is a church-going lady. In real life, I don't think that she is. Um, so it's weird. I wonder how she feels playing those type of parts. Um, but, you know, she's a, a she's in, she sings in the choir. And she brings these kids in. And she tries to, you know, keep them away from the music industry. Because you know, they come together. They want to be a new, the new Beyonce. And they're like, uh. She's like, uh, no. Come sing in the church. Now, Star, which is pretty much the star of the show. Um, she has insecurities and wants to be great. Uh, her sister is pretty much an alcoholic um, or a sub she's, a, she's a substance abuser, whatever you call that. She's always high, she's always drunk. And I'm assuming she's like 16, 17, you know, so she definitely shouldn't be drinking like that. And then the other girl, the Lenny Kravitz um, daughter, she is kind of stuck up, um, but she's a perfectionist. You know, so I can respect that for sure. But she's kind of stuck up a little bit. I actually like the show. You know, I can't say that I didn't like it. Um, I like the, the premise of the show. I like, you know, where they came up from. Because honestly, people who work hard to become successful in entertainment usually are children that were either abused, that were mistreated, poor. You know, they come from a rough background. So I was able to kind of relate with that. So they end up going to the strip club to find a manager. I'm like, really? So, they, she, Star goes to the strip club and she pretty much 
almost puts herself out there. She sings with a man, but in the champagne room, no sex in the champagne room, no sex in the... Oh, you guys don't know that song? Well, anyway. But, they are in there, she sings for him, and, she, and he's like, all right, sing for me at this one place, and we got, we might have something we can work with. So, Queen Latifah, she owns a beauty shop, and in order for them to stay at her house, they got to work. So they're working and they got uh, Star, which is the white girl. They got her shampooing this lady and and I guess she burns herself or whatever. And the lady gets up out that shampoo shell. She's like, you got this white girl up here trying to mess up my head? <laughs> that was funny. I can't really do it right, but I thought it was really funny. Uh, they had some really funny parts in there that I, that I really liked. But honestly, she kind of held her own. She's not like Becky. You know, she kind of got some, you know, rough sides to her. You know, like, she could be black type of personality. That, that's, I don't see her as, like, um, the girlfriend. I don't know if you guys watch Orange is the New Black. Piper. I don't see her as a Piper. Um, she has a little more edge to her than that. So, it kind of works. I don't, I didn't really like Piper too much. But, this girl, Star, she's, she's working it. I like her. I, she's, she's playing the part. She's not out of character at all. So, they go to the strip club and... The girl from Love and Hip Hop, uh, Jocelyn, the, the girl that's always with Stevie J, she's in there as a stripper. And I'm like, girl, as much as you've been on TV, you can't get no other job. Your job is a stripper? That's the, the that's how they cast you? Like, this, that's nothing else you could do. Nothing else you want to do. You want to you wanna be a stripper, play a stripper. Like, what? But anyway, she's in there. And so I thought that, I just want to throw that in there. There's no real point to that. She's just in there real quick. So the manager hooks him up with a gig at this um, football player's house. And they perform. They perform, I guess, I Will Be Anything For You or whatnot. And I can't really, I can't tell who that song is to or for. I'm like, is this like for your sister? Like you would be anything for her? It can't be for your man because they end up saying I'll be your king. I'm like, no, nah, no dude want no king. So I'm not really sure what the song is to. I mean, it's kind of cool. You know, they like, I'll be your bulletproof vest and stuff like that. Like, pretty much they'll be your, they got your back, I guess. You know, they'll protect you. It's a kind of cool song, but I couldn't understand really who was the audience. But, whatever, you know. And then towards the end, the dude ends up being alive. Now, I kind of figured that either the show was going to get shut down and they're going to get arrested. Or the guy was alive. So, the guy that, that Star stabs in the back for raping her sister or molesting her sister, he ends up being alive in a hospital, and they ask him, who would want to hurt you? Now, first of all, why isn't the, the daughter number one suspect? Second of all, I know he's not going to say nothing. They, they left it at that. He doesn't answer. They left it at that. Um, I think he's going to try to get revenge. I don't think that, um, and that's it's the dude from uh, Family Matters, the son. He's the guy that um, gets stabbed or whatnot. I, I, and at first I was like, why would they stab him and kill him? That's a waste of a character. Why would you even take that role if you're going to just die right away? People, I want to see you on, on camera. So now that I know that he's alive, I think it's going to try to get revenge, mess up their whole little gig or whatnot, or like a... Um, they're going to try to blackmail him or something like that. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know. What do you, you think about the show? And let me know what you guys think is going to be his role in the show. Is he going to be trying to sabotage them with blackmail or, or what? So, but that's the episode. That's my review of Star Episode 1, Season 1. So, you guys let me know what you think. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I want to know what you guys think. What do you think he's going to be? What is his part going to be um, in the show? So, also guys, I want to let you guys know that I do other, other stuff. So, if you're into certain things, um, like any type of figures or whatnot, we do those reviews. Also, we do movie reviews. So, if you're into movies or you want to know what movie you should go see this weekend, check us out, Break Room Blitz. We are your number one news feed for reviews. So, no, I'm just playing. But we are trying to, you know, get, up, get our, our, our name out there and, you know, feel like we have some good content good conversation you know we want to get our name out there so go ahead and definitely check out our other stuff and i'm out guys i'm d anthony peace